contract, big boy. Come on, sign the contract. Tyson's legendary status and experience would be a significant contrast to Paul's relatively recent entry into boxing. Many eyes are focused on this most awaited match. Now let's see each of their awesome lines during their face-off. Mike Tyson stated that once he gets in that ring, he has to fight like his life is depending on it because it will be. Then Jake Paul replied, they call him Iron Mike Tyson, but I'm Titanium Jake Paul. Oh, I can't imagine the heat during their face-off. <laughs> I wish I was there. Tyson had a recent post telling that now feeling 100%, even though I don't need to be to beat Jake Paul, so he's telling us that Jake Paul is just a weak fighter for him? The legend is so confident that he can easily defeat Jake Paul. This match catched the attention, not just among boxing enthusiasts, but also across mainstream media. Even at his age, he said that he can still fight and knock out Jake for good. As you know, he is already 57 years old, but his build is still good to face a challenge. Many people are getting excited to their upcoming match, especially when Mike posted another video post on his social media account. Now let's see some of his statements. Different date, same fate. I'm gonna knock out Jake Paul. Scared to death, but as the fight gets closer, the less nervous I become because it's reality. And in reality, I'm invincible. Jake, I'd be remiss if I don't start with you, my man. Living legend, who would have thought you fighting on Netflix in a fight that spans four generations. It's an unbelievable thing. Can you explain to the public, explain to the world why this intrigued you, why you ultimately said yes to a fight against Jake Paul? Well, it was a no-brainer. It was just, um, he was a new up-and-coming guy on the scene. And um, I like um, shaking the sports world to its core, and I'm doing it now. I, I, it's just something I want to do. And so there has been a lot of talk about your age and the age difference between you two. Yeah. What do you say to the critics? What do you say to the detractors? What do you say to the people who are saying, quite, you know, frankly, you are too old to be fighting a guy who's 28? Well, I'm beautiful. That's all I can say. That's good enough for us. You do look to be in great shape. How is the training camp going? Because we see the 30-second clips with Rafael Cordero and your whole team. But could you give us a little more insight into how things are going? I'm doing great, but my, my body is shit right now. I'm sore. Yeah, I'm really sore. I think you're playing possum. No, I, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> well, you look to be in fantastic shape, and it's great Thank to see you, you up here. Day three, you still want to fuck with me? Despite being on his late 50s, he has shown that he can still participate in boxing matches in an exhibition format rather than competitive professional bouts. Tyson still exhibits significance, strength and speed, although not at the level of his prime years. That was amazing, isn't it? His training and experience enable him to deliver powerful punches and move effectively in the ring. While his endurance is not what it was in his younger days, he has adapted his training to focus on shorter, more intense bouts, such as those typical of exhibition matches. At nearly 19 years after his last pro fight, Tyson will face Jake Paul in a boxing match on November 15th at AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas, home of the Dallas Cowboys. Mike Tyson is on fire, you know what that means? If Tyson is indeed fired up to defeat Jake Paul, it would be an intriguing matchup due to their vastly different backgrounds and level of experience. Some famous person will also share their opinions to this amazing fight. Now let's watch. Before, you know, it was okay, but you don't know what you got in store, baby. You got to face the God of War. And get ready, baby. Fire in the hot. Yes, they're gonna fight. Do you think Jake Paul could beat Mike Tyson? I don't think so. <laughs> All right, Mike Tyson, man, this fight got delayed. Um, 
it seems like probably luckily for Tyson. What are your thoughts on him? Uh, you know, whether it's legit or not, having an ulcer that this fight can't take place right now on July 20th. Well, I believe it was legit. I don't think Mike Tyson would just pull out of a fight. Well, I mean, do you think it's a case of, you know, hey, he's training and realizing maybe, you know, you know, you always think you're better than you are, right? Your, your mind's always there, but the body doesn't always follow. And maybe he realized, you know, when you got, you know, the, the number one prospect in box, boxing, you know, a young bull like that coming up, you know, maybe he realized that, you know, he might not have what it takes to beat this guy. I don't think so. You don't think you can beat him either? I don't think that was the problem. Well, you know, like it's it's like in like in Africa, right? You have the the lion, right? The 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 old, you know, the the old, you know, alpha male you lion. Nothing about, no, you don't know nothing about Africa. <laughs> Talk about the lions, you know, like the the old, you know, the old. Al- Let's watch how Tyson played Jake doing their face off. You won't believe this. He's just making fun of him. Mike didn't took him seriously. I guess I got to start with you. Yes. And I'm going to start with you because I saw just the other day, you got on social media and you said, I want to address this. So many people, even the Saudi chief got on social media and said, Mike, forget the script. Beat this guy. What do you say? Tell these people who keep saying that this fight is scripted for Jake Paul to win. Well... Just come to the front and you'll see. Listen, listen, I started Jake off and I'm going to finish him. Jake Paul, same question. People keep saying that this fight is scripted. Hey, yeah, come on, Jake Paul. Jake Paul, Jake Paul, Jake Paul, Jake Paul. Jake Paul. I love- hey, I hope y'all keep that same energy when I knock this old man the f- out. And for those, Jake, who say it's scripted, what do you say to them? Well, clearly they don't have a high IQ in here, but that's a federal crime, Brian. Mike, there are a number of people who also say Mike Tyson is risking serious injury against a powerful 27-year-old who is in his prime. What do you say to that? I don't know if he's in his prime. He's fat. He should be lean and mean. He's fat and funky. I saw him with his shirt off though that he's fat. I thought Did you start training already? Hey, Buster Douglas was fat, am I right? I know, but you're no Buster Douglas. <laughs> I'm better. I'm you're, better. No, and I'm gonna no, I'm gonna end you quicker than he did. And, and you'll remember that forever. You started okay. me off. I appreciate that, Mike. I love you. I love you. Like a father loves his son, but I must discipline you. <laughs> You're going down, old man. Okay, I love you too. (laughs) Mike, a number of people say when they talk about this fight, they say if Mike Tyson doesn't get Jake Paul early and get him out of there early, there's no way he can go all eight rounds and win this fight. What do you say to that? Okay, whatever. It's hard to even really be, uh, he's not gonna win. Nick, he couldn't even knock out Nick Diaz. Nick Diaz is 40 pounds. How's he gonna knock me out? What's the other guy? Anderson Silva. He didn't knock those little guys. How's he gonna knock me out? Jake, majority of your fights, we've certainly seen the power on display. Who, who did gotta... he knock out? Who did he knock out? Little, little children. He didn't knock out, never knocked out a real man. Come on. He's questioning your power, Jake. He's saying you haven't knocked out a legitimate fighter of his elk. He didn't knock out. He didn't knock out um, Tommy Fury. Your response to that, Jake? 
Hey, look, he's right. I, I, I can't stand here and say I did those things. But what I promise to the people is on July 20th, Mike will be put to sleep and he will feel my power. And I will go down as the man who put Tyson to sleep for the last time. Mike, let me ask you this. For the 200 million who will be watching this fight around the world, well over 80,000 people that will be in AT&T Stadium. What can you guarantee these people they will get on July 20th when you step in the ring hey, listen, with Jake Paul? Listen, we're here. We did enough talk and I'm ready to fight. He said he is ready to fight. He will defeat Jake. Very confident, isn't it? Now, Many well-known fighters are sharing their thoughts and gave a warning to Jake Paul. Do you think Jake doesn't stand a chance to beat Mike Tyson? Even if Mike is playing around, I'm sure that when he said, I will knock Jake, he mean it. I mean, he will do it, I'm sure. That's why I'm getting excited to their fight. Man versus Mike Tyson. Does it interest you? And, and how do you see that fight going down in, in July? Not at all. Not at all. Not really, not, not even interested. No, nothing. Do you think it's it's good for boxing? Not good for boxing. No. A lot of people think, think that Netflix is is good for boxing. I think Netflix is good for boxing, but at that special fight, I think Netflix is doing something wrong there. I think Netflix being involved, yes, is good, but no, in that kind of fights, I think is more show than a fight. Yeah, uh, Mike was a killer. Yeah. You know, and like, you got to know that you don't go in and, and play with Mike because Mike is a killer. Yeah. And I thought he was one of the most entertaining things to ever come to boxing. Yeah. You know, is. I thought he really kept the game alive. It and, is. Uh, right, right until I got there. You know, he, yeah. he had kept it alive for me. Yeah. He opened the door because he was highly entertaining. Yeah. Now, he was a little bit crazy with what he was doing. Yeah. But he was highly entertaining. Yeah. Never should have got put in prison for that robbing giving stuff. Yeah. Never should have yeah. never should went to jail for, or whatever he went for the the, the, the girl in the, the, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. never should went to prison for that. How old is Mike Tyson? Sixty? Fifty seven. Fifty seven. Uh, Jake Paul. Twenty seven. You, you are a disgrace of a man. You are the epitome of weakness. You are the scum of the earth. The fact that you even have a platform or anything of that nature is a slight on society. You truly make me disgusted and if i ever encounter you in real life i hope that i just don't lose my shit and go to prison tyson is baddest man on the planet great puncher uh one of the great heavyweights of all time one of the greatest mixes of speed and power speed and power and he had the right style too he was taught to make a guy miss create an opening where he could explode those quick hands and those powerful hands and another thing he could punch with either side guys like Ernie Chavis they could knock a wall down with the right hand Lennox Lewis knock a wall down with the right hand but not too many Joe Lewis was great with either hand but not too many of them could punch with either hand that devastating Tyson had all of that I like Jake that's it you think he's doing a good job yes what do you think about the Tyson fight that he just Announced. That's awesome. Fuck yeah, dude. Try to fight Tyson. If he knocks you out, but at least you fought Tyson. That's cool. At this point, I think Tyson's 58, right? Well, that's not okay. You know, he's like 60 years old. How much of his power do you think he lost? you think it's still Mike Tyson? I think in there? Like, that's the last thing to go. On Netflix. Mm hmm. Which is, I think, a first for Netflix to actually have a live fight. Yeah, right. I think so. Who you got? Uh, I got Mike Tyson. Really? Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I I'm sorry. I don't see how how Jake pulls this off. Uh, I see Mike Tyson punching him in the body, and I I don't see how Jake stops that. Hmm. Jake is not of the size to give Mike a problem. Mike can be, you know, big guys would hold Mike. Guys with long reach that outweigh him. Yeah. Um, I think. People that's Mike's weight with Mike's center, center of gravity. I don't. I don't think there's anything that's gonna stop him. Uh, Mike hits him in the body. The body don't move that much. I. Uh, I don't see how Jake survives a body attack. Personally, 
Okay, I looked it up. Mike Tyson is 220 pounds. That's one pound less than his optimal weight. And Jake Paul is about 200 pounds. He's got about 20 pounds. Are difference. you kidding me? He's only 200? Yeah. Oh, gee. This is worse than I thought. That was his last fight. That's what he weighed it as. Yeah. Oh, boy. That means, I mean, because, I mean, he he fought Tommy Fury um, at, he was 200 pounds when he fought Tommy Fury? Six foot one. Mike is what, five foot ten? Let me see. Huh. He's six one? Five foot I ten, don't... yeah. Five foot ten. So he got three inches well, on I him. I mean, I know, I'm... Three inches I... for Mike Tyson's not a big deal, obviously. But, hmm. Tyson is 57. And, okay. I don't care. <laughs> When, when Tyson did, fought, yeah. okay, so when Tyson mm -hmm. fought Roy Jones Jr., mm -hmm. well, he clearly won, but he did seem kind of winded during that fight. Roy Jones have skills that Jake will never have, even at that at that age. Jake's got a punch, but see, Jake has fought really tiny guys in comparison to him. Nobody was. I mean, only Tommy Fury that I know of has, um, has, uh, and then I happen to know, which is, you know, I don't, I probably shouldn't say anything because, you know, I was instrumental in, you know, sometimes getting guys to spar with, uh, uh Jake and his brother. Right. Mike Tyson fight, just as a fan. Or? I like it. I think it's cool. I think, uh, I think, uh, Mike Tyson all the way. Um. Now may I know your thoughts on this. Who do you think will win? Will you bet for Mike Tyson, the legendary fighter, the baddest man on the planet, fighting even at his present age? Or you will bet for Jake Paul, a famous YouTuber turned to a boxer and at his prime age. I'm sure you're also excited for the outcome of this match. I mentioned many details of this saga, but there's something else very huge that is happening in the wait for this fight. So check out this deep dive where I'll tell you other rumors that are buzzing in the boxing community. You will learn new shocking claims that are attracting people's attention. Click on the screen to watch the deep dive and thanks for watching this video.